Now, Johnny Anderson will only serve as the managing director and CEO of the Kenya Airports Authority for another month after an unexpected resignation effective 30th of September. The Norwegian has opted not to extend his contract and further to that has exited about two months before his current term expires. This comes barely four months after another expatriate, the Kenya Airways CEO Sebastian Mikosh, announced that he would be leaving the national career at the end of the year. Ken Mijungu reports that these departures could point to the challenging environment where the expat expatriates have to navigate to survive the harsh environment for the demanding jobs. Norwegian Johnny Anderson was appointed managing director of the Kenya Airports Authority following the sacking of Lucy Mbugwa in June of 2015 alongside general manager for finance John Thumbi and then acting airports engineer Christopher Warutere over the airport Bascam. He joined the Kenya Airports Authority from Avina AS, a state-owned firm that manages airports in Norway. Three years on, he has thrown in the towel opting to leave rather than renew his contract with the authority that manages airports across the country. The Kenya Airports Authority Board credits him with building a strong foundation for growth, strengthening the management team, improving and enhancing customer service. He was another case of a foreigner being brought in to breathe life into a struggling institution. In May, Kenya Airways Chief Executive Sebastian Mikosh, a Polish national, announced he would be leaving at the end of the year. He took over from Buvingunze with a promise to turn around the struggling airline that was flying deep in the red zone with billions of shillings in losses. Mikosh had served as Polish Airlines Chief Executive Officer. But even before the ink dries on this announcement, recruitment for the next Kenya Airports Authority MD has begun. While these two entities have not performed to expectation in spite of being led by expatriates, Safaricom has performed well in the nine years under Bob Colimo, a South American citizen, and the preceding years under Michael Joseph. It's not clear who will be preferred by the respective boards to lead the firms, but there have been calls to consider Kenyans. But even as they exit, they leave a lot in the in-tray for the next office bearers. KQ is yet to return to profitability and actually record greater losses in the first half of the year. Plans to have it run, the airport was shelved and many labor disputes that have characterized the last few years are yet to be resolved. The conversation is now on nationalizing the career and parliament unanimously voted for this proposal in order to save face. On the other hand, Anderson leaves Kenya Airport's authority two months to the expiry of his term. Sources say this was informed more by the difficulties he faces in executing his duties, leaving him with very limited options. Ken Mijungu, NTV.